Good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning here. I don't know if it's morning for you. It's morning for me. I'm actually still in my PJs. I thought I would just spend some time being comfy and doing some intuitive painting with you guys. So I have no real plan. I grabbed out some kind of Halloween colors in brighter colors. Some gold inks and some copper. And I have my embossing powders in my drawer here. And I just kind of wanted to go ahead and just play and see where it takes us. This is a great activity to do when you cannot find your creative spark. When your creative juices are not flowing, this is something we can do to spark it. I'm going to use this page. I'm going to creep up the spine. I don't always do it, but I don't want these colors to leak through onto the pages that I've already created. So I'm just going to tape it up. I'm not going to be precise because this is kind of like good intuitive. Just feel the products. This is kind of like a, one of those packing tapes. You just have to get the back wet. And we can stick it down. Nice, good burnishing. I can trim off the excess later if I want. Let's start with a few colors. I'm just going to be ra <coughs> excuse me, random and feel my way through it. If you don't want a strip like this showing, you can always gesso over top. Let's take a moment. Stop, take a look, see how it's going. So, Jane Davenport Incredible Ink, Mummy Tail. Just gonna lay down my Wiping rag, painter's rag. Let's put some turquoise deep Liquitex ink at the top. I think it open. Bring some water down. Well, that's all Starry Nights, inspired by Martina Manger, STN009. So I'm going to try using my 
glazing liquid instead of embossing ink. And I need a piece of paper as well. Like piece of paper for catching the excess embossing powders. This is the golden acrylic glazing liquid in satin. You don't want the gloss. The gloss will make your pages stick together. From the set called Moonlight. I want to use... Let us use Twilight. It is a bit of a thicker particle embossing powder, so I'll do these ones and then on the next one I'll add more of the glazing liquid to make sure it all adheres properly. Actually, why don't we compare the two? So there was a few with glazing liquid. So it's good for intuitive if you don't want it to look like it is, like the actual image. Let us just have them down the side. I was going to do them all on the top. I think I'll do them to the side. I am using a brand new brayer. It has a little bit of glitter on it already. So a brand new brayer cost me 15 from Speedball. I know that Marion does it this way, so let's let's give it a whirl. Don't know if it's quite going through. But I am also working on a non-flat surface because the pages in behind have already been created. So there's a little bumpiness to them. But we'll get some some loosey goosey stars. They're not very defined, but we're going to get a few. good to experiment, see what you can do. Try something new. Okay, those are pretty great. Look at that. on one side. It's a good thing I taped it because I think of all the inks that would have gone right through the spine. I think we survived okay. We did. We did it. There you have it, a morning of intuitive painting. Ta-da! 
Let's cover up a uh, past page. Hmm. I would like to show the product to you guys so you can get a quick screenshot. There we go. Screenshot away. Oh, stencil, stencil, starting to stencil. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I have been creatively stuck for about a week. I think it's because I have too much on my palette, so my brain is just very busy. So this helped. So sometimes when you just can't create, just go intuitively, try not, to, like when you do this, don't pick colors that when they mix together, they're gonna turn into brown. So like stick with all cool or stick with all warm colors. And then you can add in some that kind of meet in the middle <laughs> and you should have a lot of fun. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.